My name is Hajime Utsunomiya, but everywhere calls me Jimmy. Uh, this was called by Dr. Philippon at the very first day of my year. Um, I am a, a international research fellow here uh, from 2016, May. So I am a, an MD and PhD. I'm working with Dr. Philippon to learn uh, his philosophy of the hip arthroscopy. And I have been joining with uh, more than 600 surgeries of Dr. Philippon in these two years. And I have been working on the uh, research studies and biomechanical studies of the hip. As the great talk of Julia yesterday, um, so she had a dysplastic hip, which is a shallow socket of the hip. And this is not very common in US. I would say the number of the patients with dysplastic hip in US is two to four percent. And in Japan, uh, with the hip pain, the dysplastic hip is called to uh, as a 50 up to 80%. So this is totally big difference. And the uh, most important thing is the patients with shallow socket is uh, not very good uh, candidate of hip arthroscopy. Uh, everybody in the world believes. But uh, my supervisor, Soshi Uchida in Japan, and Dr. Philippon, they are very aggressive to do hip arthroscopy for this kind of dysplastic patients. So I came here to learn how to treat the dysplastic patients from Dr. Philippon. Traditional way to treat them is cut the bone of pelvis and rotate the bone, bone and uh, make a good coverage, which is the very traditional way, but which will take a very long time to recover for the athletes. So for the uh, top level athletes to do this kind of surgery is a kind of end of career. So to do hip arthroscopy will help uh, to clean up the joint, but just doing hip arthroscopy might not resolve their uh, initial problem, which is the uh, smaller coverage of the acetabulum, which is a pelvic bone. I need to say the technology of Japan, Japan in Japan the hip, regarding hip arthroscopy is not really high as here in US. So um, if the patient is going to somewhere in Japanese clinic, then that doctor will say, you need to get the uh, bone cut surgery. So that is one purpose for me to come here and learn a lot from the way of treating in US. But the how, so, Regarding the prevention, um, so this is very important word from Julia yesterday, but uh, this plastic hip without pain is a kind of talented hip. So the talented hip, then the athlete will get a very high performance. So how to make the high performance without pain or disability is very important for us. So that is one more important thing regarding the prevention of the injury of the hip with dysplastic patients.